Hi guys and welcome back to Lilac Stables and today I'm going to be doing a 2021 pre Briarfest haul. So I bought all these models before Briarfest and I wanted to film a video with my Briarfest models and these models all together in a whole haul. But since Briar is taking a while to ship everyone's models, I decided I'll just film a video on the models I already bought. And then once I get my Briarfest models, then I'll film a video on those models. But for now, enjoy this video on the models that I got before Briarfest. So first off here, we have Melbourne. And Melbourne is a 2008 special run of 1,150 models made. And oh my goodness, you guys. I saw this guy being sold on eBay and I immediately fell in love with him. I love a good buckskin. I think buckskins are beautiful horses and I love me a good paint horse. And this guy together was just, I was so star studded when I saw him. I immediately bought him. This guy was at such a good price and I knew I had to add this guy to my collection. He is so, so gorgeous. And this guy is just, wow, he is so, so nice. I love all his crisp paint markings. And I really love how he has a lot of shading in his muscles. And they look so, so nice. This guy is so, so beautiful. I really, really love his coat pattern. I love his paint job so much. And he's just so, so gorgeous. And like I said before, I am not a vintage mold fan. But there is something about this semi-rearing stallion mold that is just so cute. I mean, look at this guy. He's so amazing. And if we look at him on the other side, we can see his other nice crisp markings. They're so, so nice. And I love how different they are from his other side. And we can also see that one sock that he has compared to his other legs that have no leg markings at all. And he's just so, so amazing. And if we take a closer look at his face, Melbourne has such a sweet, cute face. I love how he has this really, really thick blaze going on all around his face. It looks super, super nice. And I really just love the pinging on his nose. I think it's super, super cute. And this guy is just, just so cute in general. I really love him. And I also love that if you look into his coat color, it's kind of metallic or glittery. I'm trying to see if the camera can pick it up, but it's so, so nice. I really, really do love it his coat color and it's super super nice and on his belly in gold it does say Briarfest 2008 and next we have moon dance so moon dance is a 2017 collector's club model and i have been looking for this girl for a while and i am so happy that i was able to find her for a good price and i can finally add her to my collection i love the forever sage mold and i really love her coloring it's so so nice and very interesting i love how she has these three white legs and that one leg that is her coat color looks super interesting and cool and i really love if you notice in her mane and tail you can see really really nice highlights and lowlights going on and i just think it's super super cool and i really love how on this mold she has the cutest little neck wrinkles and i just think they're super super cute and since Moon Dance is a red dun, you can see her really nice dun stripes on her back legs and her front legs. And I think they look super, super cute. And there's such a nice added detail on her. I really love how that looks. And if we flip her on the other side, we can see how cool and interesting her markings are over here. I love how they all connect with each other. And they are just a really interesting pattern. And we can see that she has this cutest little spot right there on her shoulder i love how it's just so random and it's super super cute and i also like how on this other side you can also see the barring that's on her hind legs and if we look at her face oh the forever sage mold has such a cute face i love how she looks and she is super super beautiful i love this blaze that is going on her face and i just wish that for this model they could have done a little bit more coloring on her muzzle it looks kind of weird white i would have wished that they'd done like a cream or a pink nose i think they did do it but not heavy enough and i think it looks kind of weird but she is still pretty cute i love how cute her eyes are and she is just so so precious i love how her hair is just flipping in the wind and her markings are just super super nice and crisp and in gold on her belly it does say collector club 2017 
And next up, we have a model that I have been looking for ever since I started collecting back in 2016, and this is Picasso. So Picasso is a portrait model of the real Mustang horse, Picasso. So Picasso is known to be the world's most famous Mustang horse. He has had documentaries and many articles about him, and recently he has been considered lost because nobody has seen him, and they even have considered him um, dead because no one has seen him in such a long time but Briar did a really good job in capturing his spirit on this mode on the disatotal mode and it looks really really nice I really love the paint job that they did on him they captured his markings really really well as well and I just really love how he looks I love how you can see his two leg markings in the front and I really love how they added the hoof stripe details on his hooves as well he just looks so gorgeous I really love that chest marking right there it looks super cool and i really love his hair um if you look at his black and white hair it looks super super cool and if we turn him over we can see how he has this really big patch of white going on the side of his neck and he just looks super super cool this guy is so so stunning and i'm so so happy that i was able to finally add this guy to my collection after so many years and he is just honestly so so beautiful and if we look at Picasso's face, we can see how nice his face looks. And I really, really love that little chin spot that he has. It's super, super cute. And if we look at his face mark, we see how really cool and interesting how he has this irregular face marking going on. It's super, super cool. And I really love that little dot on his nose. And it's super cute. And this guy is just so, so wonderful. I'm so, so happy that I was able to get him, especially for the price that I did. Because now on the market, he is going for a bit of a higher price. But this guy is so, so gorgeous, and I'm so, so happy to add him to my collection. And last but not least, we have Jesse. So Jesse is a tractor supply special run, and I've been looking for this guy for a while now because I fell in love with the Wyatt mold, and I finally found a guy in box for a really, really good price. But let me unbox this guy really quickly, and now we can take a closer look at him. So Jesse is so, so gorgeous. He is standing on two legs so of course he does need a stand but this guy is simply simply gorgeous i love me a good palomino and just the shading on him is absolutely phenomenal i love all the darker shading on his muscles and i love how his legs have a bit of a darker tone to them as well he looks super super cool and i love that little sock that they just added to him on one of his hind legs and he looks super super cute and if we flip him over, we can see the rest of his really nice, rich Palomino color. And this guy is just simply gorgeous. I love the action pose on this mold, and this guy is just so, so beautiful. And if we take a closer look at his face, we do notice that he does not have any eye whites. He does have the buggy eyes, but he's still pretty, pretty cute. I really love how he looks, and he is just gorgeous. And if we look at his face marking, he has this cute little stripe going down, and it's really, really nice. I love how it looks. I love the design on it, and it's super, super crisp and super cute this guy is really really gorgeous and i am so so happy to add this guy as well to my collection and now i have two whites in my collection with glossy fletcher and now i just need to add bozeman so i can finally have a conga on this mold and that is it for today's video thank you guys so so much for watching this video and sticking around to the end but before I end off this video, I would just like to thank you guys all so much for over 200 subscribers. So over Briarfest weekend, I hit over 200 subscribers and I took the screenshot, I think on the Saturday of Briarfest and I cannot believe that I have over 200 subscribers. And if you look now, I have even more and I am honestly just so thankful and grateful for all you guys that have subscribed to my channel and watched my videos you guys honestly make my day so much better and i'm so so happy for each and every single one of you guys thank you guys so so much and you guys are simply just amazing and the best and once again thank you guys so so much for watching this video if you like this video don't forget to leave a big thumbs up down below and comment down below do you have any of these models in your collection let me know if you'd like to add any of these models to your collection. Please let me know in the comments down below. Don't forget to share this video with your other horse-loving friends. But most important of all, do not forget to subscribe to Lalex Tables for more horse videos. Thank you guys so, so much for watching, and I'll see you in my next video. Bye, guys!